Okay, yeah, third here from Haydock is the Tim Maloney Handicap Chase. It's a 0 to 140 of the three miles and four furlongs. So we have Nievery for Martin Liedem, Grecian Urn for Graham Clutterbuck, Coupe de Ville for Doug Warren, Right Grass for David Robertson, Dark Knight for Leon Van Rensburg, El Distintivo for Obi Wan, Cutter Dash for Daniel French, Venture to Cognac Martin Liedem, Streets of War Darren Howes, Stoke Hill for James Follis, Dan Silly Bue for Stu Gray, Mighty Deb for Alex Cherry, Eyecatcher for Darren Howes, Jenny Black for Alex Cherry, and winning race for Doug Warren. So 15 of them to go around those three and a half miles at Haydock. And the starters pulled them in and got them away. And it looks like nobody really wants to take this along. There's plenty being held up here. A bit of tactical over three and a half miles. They approach the first and get over it. They're all pretty. Oh, a few of the neck of his arms being pulled out of his sockets there by Mighty Deb. Dan City Blues just on his inside being held up. The one against the fence, Grecian Urn also being held up. Coupe de Ville outside, held up. So we're going to wait to see who wants to take this along as they go into the second. Oh, we've lost one there. Right, grass has gone. Unseated his jockey. Bad luck, Mr. Robertson. And now Dan City Blues decided to. Uh, no, he's having a hold as well. So there really is uh, no front runners in this. Where's the arrogante horses when you need them? So they take the third. Everybody's over that. And unlike an Alex Cherry, he's got a couple in here. Not usually uh, up near the front. But it's Dan City Blue that's reluctantly taking them past the winning post for the first time. And he's a couple of lengths from Mighty Devon Grecian Urn. And inside his winning race in the Red Silks. The outside of that is Genie Black and Stoke Hill. Wider still is Coupe de Ville. And we've got Dark Knight, Streets of War. A little bit uh, bunched up in the remainder of the mid pack. A little cut a dash, Nievery out wide. El Di Distintivo and Venture to Conrad is just at the rear at the moment. So as they go away from us here, and they approach the fourth. It's still Dan Silly Blue that's leading. Takes it well. This is the remainder. We're all within uh, four to five lengths of each other. It's quite even. Uh, even right grass is still in there amongst the amongst the horses, but it's Dan C. Blue going to lead them into the fifth. So plain one, and he's over it. And second now is Jenny Black, winning race and Grecian Urn. And about nine uh, nine wide is Coupe de Ville. And wider still is the Grey. I think it's Cutter Dash. Against the fence, grey is Streets of War. I didn't get over that well and drop down a little bit. At the moment we've got Elston Stevo in the rear. But up front is still Den City Blue. It's going to lead them into the, the seventh. Seems to be happy uh, being in front now. Gets over the seventh. That's just the remainder. Poor jump there by Streets of War. I did make a mistake. The grey against the fence is eye catcher. And the grey out wide is Nievery. Oh no, it's cut a dash, sorry. All very confusing, far too many orange silks. But it's still Dan City Blue that leads. Well over two miles to travel still. From Jenny Blackham winning race. He's also having a little hold now. As well as Jenny Black. Nobody wants to run this at a fair pace. They all want to just, uh, I don't know, slope on round I should say. But Dan City Blue leads them into the ninth. They'll have another 11 to jump. 12, should I say? It's Dan Silly Blue, and Jenny Black, Mighty Deb, Coupe de Ville, Dark Knight winning race, and the two greys of Cutter Dash and I catch up. And they'll take the 10th, moving through the field now is Venture to Cognac. Light Blue Silks is Stoke Hill against the fence, that's what I like, is Graham Clutterbuck's Grecian Urn. While there's still is Nievery, and then El, Dist El Distintivo, and Streets of War just at the rear. So into the 11th, and Silly Blue gets over it. As to the rest, a couple of sloppy jumps there. Jenny Black didn't take it well. Oh, and we're losing one now. Being pulled up is El Distintivo. My tongue-tied commentator's worst nightmare horse has uh, been pulled up. Unlucky Obi. They go over the 12th. Oh, we've lost another one there. This time it's Dark Knight for Leon Van Rensburg. Well, you won the Grand National. We can't, ex can't expect to win more than that race in a year I should be grateful so he's a goner but it's Dan City Blue that still leads us with a circuit to go now another nine fences
still for Mighty Dev, Coupe de Ville, Jenny Black, winning race, Stoke Hill and Cutter Dash are all together. And then we've got a length on them from Venture to Cognac, Streets of War, Grecian Urn, Eye Catcher. And then right at the rear is Nievre. But it's still Dan City Blue, doing a good job leading them here. He's not a known front runner. The trainer knows the horse well. Been, uh, this is his third season. And Starter's Orders hasn't won one this year. There's one every other year. They're over the 13th. Wasn't unlucky for anybody. Poor jump at the rear by Nievri. As they approach the 14th, with just over a mile to travel, it's Dan Silly Blue from Coupe de Ville. Stoke Hill, Jenny Black, Mighty Dev. Oh, and a poor jump there by Dan Silly Blue. Has allowed the others to cut his lead down to just a length or so. We'll need to settle coming into the next. But still, Dan Silly Blue from Coupe de Ville and Jenny Black. Jumps the 15th better. They're all over it. Slow jump at the rear by Nievri. Oh, and we're losing one here. Eye catch is going. Unlucky Darren. Second pull up of the day. It's still Dan Silly Blue. Just under seven furlongs to travel. We go to the 16th. Dan Silly Blue was slow over it and allowed Stoke Hill and Jenny Black to pull alongside. But, uh, then Silly Blue goes into the 17th, a poor jump that time, and Stoke Hill was the one that got away from it best. And leads now by a length to Jenny Black and Dan Silly Blue. Dan Silly Blue's in on the fence, but Stoke Hill comes across and cuts him up. And then Silly Blue's on the outside. The one that's made some good ground here is Venture to Cognac. Starting to head for home from inside the five furlongs. Gone out wide from everybody. And seems to have another gear. As he, is he actually even carrying any weight? Going into the 18th, he gets over it well. So Venture to Cognac leads us now. And he's just pulling away from everybody here. Got three and a half furlongs to go. He's extending his lead to four to five lengths to Dan City Blue and Stoke Hill. Coming out of the back of Streets of War and Cutter Dash. But this Venture to Cognac stolen on everybody here with three furlongs to go. Rated 98. Well, let me never hear you moan about Mr. Clutterbug again, Venture to Cognac, if you win this race. He's over the 20th, he's only got one to jump. He's making this into a bit of a possession here. Obviously the greatest handicapped horse in the world here, Venture to Cognac, fellow and a half to go. Leads by about seven. Making this race a bit of a farce as he goes over the 21st and gets over it well. Dan City Blue tries to make up a little bit of ground. Coming out of the pack near Streets of War to take third or fourth. But Venture to Cognac's just pulling away here. And that's uh, probably the most probably the most poor new handicapped horse in the, in the race. So Venture to Cognac takes it from Dan City Blue in second. I think Stoke Hill got up for third. We'll just wait for the final card. I'm amazed by that. He's off 96. Martin Leadham, you're having a laugh. Anyway, second was Dan Silly Stu Gray. Third was Streets of War for Darren Howes. Fourth was Stoke Hill for James Follis. Fifth was Grecian Irma Graham Clutterbuck. And uh, Mr. Clutterbuck, you better clutterbuck that horse. That's at least £25 rise, if not 50